Today I would like to show you one more low frequency amplifier. However, after I have assembled it, I found out that there was no appropriate power supply. The problem is not in unusual voltage or huge power, but the thing is that there is a need in bipolar power supply. Almost all factory made power supply units are unipolar. Bipolar power supplies are expensive and are generally of large size. The best way is to assemble such a power supply on your own. Actually, it is easier than it may seem. There is a wide choice of double wound transformers. Or you can use all used transformers whose winding provides required voltage. The power supply unit had a simple design. In addition to the transformer, it includes two diode bridges, two smoothing capacitors. Windings do not have to produce identical voltage. Please note, however, a number of critical issues. First of all, you should select transformer power so as each of its windings generates required current. In other words, if you need 4 amperes, you should select 4 ampere windings as they will be series connected. Secondly, smoothing capacitors are series connected too. That's why they have lesser total capacity. To this end, you should select capacitors of greater capacity. Thirdly, avoid economizing on diode bridges. 2 ampere and 10 ampere bridges have almost the same dimensions, and there isn't much difference in price. You'd better buy bigger bridges to ensure that the rectifier is less heated. This will improve the power supply reliability. Don't forget to arrange cooling. Finally, please keep in mind that after being rectified, voltage increases by 1.4 times. To put it in other words, if alternating current voltage of the winding is 25 volts, 35 volts will be applied to a smoothing capacitor at no load. Actually, this is all you need to know to make a bipolar power supply on your own. Our assembly does not look very nice as it is a demonstrating model, but still it is operable and you can freely use it as a power supply unit.